Welcome back, riders. This past weekend, the Tardiflet Games Best Trick Finals concluded. We have those five winners coming up for another special shout out. But stick around for this week's main topic, where we will be dissecting the updates to mass races in Riders Republic. Mitch and I are going to be talking Warrior Mass Races along with the Canyon Storm map. Stick around, you don't want to miss that. Plus, a whole bunch more coming up next on the Riders Report. Today's episode is brought to you by our YouTube members. Thank you, as always, to executive producers Bone Crusher 2 d and Coach34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, hit join down below for cool perks like early access to the shows, emojis and badges, exclusive Discord roles, members-only content, sneak peeks, and more. The Tardiflet Games Best Trick Finals went down on Saturday and a huge congratulations goes out to our five gold medal winners. Murder 10K, Monkey D, Tony, Ian Hawk, BMX, Sassolino, and Ski Maniac. If you haven't watched that event, you can check it out on our channel now. It was also featured on the Riders Republic Twitter, so that was exciting to see and watch everyone react to. We'll also have the new event announcement in the next one to two weeks, and that'll be posted both on our YouTube and Discord. There was another competition that went down and Murder 10K also won the steep, steep top five. He has been cleaning house on the events. He is the new top dog in this game. And finally, there is a new snowboard game launching this week. Shredders will be dropping on March 17th on Xbox and PC. All right, Mitch, so this past week, we got a glimpse into what looks like a new, completely new breath for the Riders Republic mass races. I'm talking the warrior races specifically. They've added some more. I mean, let's just call it what it is. They're kind of fall guys challenges and effects and and um, obstacles on these tracks. We have some new tracks as well. Canyon Storm coming out um, uh, just about two weeks ago. So. We missed it last week because we were covering the dirt bike rumors and all of that. But I think it's time now where we look back a couple of weeks at Canyon Storm and more importantly, the Warrior Mass Races. I know the community is split right now. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Uh, I want to see where you fall on that spectrum. I don't know if this will surprise you, but somewhere in the middle, I okay. do like the direction. I remember way back we had a discussion about mass races and we've even been giving some feedback to them too. And our thought, or at least my thought, was that it's n not designed to be a super serious race, the original mm -hmm. form, but it also wasn't super fun. It was just kind of in the middle and with the gear and everything, it just kind of, I, I didn't think it hit the right crowd. And we kind of said they should either push mass races more to the serious mass race side or push it to like an extreme fall guys. Mm -hmm. There's some parts where you're going to get screwed and there's nothing you can do about it. It's not your fault. It's just, you got unlucky and the new warrior race looks like it's leaning in that direction. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and your footage is playing in the background right now. And you can see there are a couple spots where you just couldn't avoid those pink sections, those slow down sections. Do they have an official name? I, I, I haven't seen a loading screen or anything. I yet. don't believe so. I don't think they've really described what's going on. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I mean, it's it's pretty simple to see at least what is going on here in these slowdown sections are the most prominent feature. And what I like about them is, is they turn these races into a, a dynamic experience. Mm -hmm. They're moving. You know, you're going through these wingsuit gates and they're spinning. You have to get through the windmill. It's almost reminiscent of GTA five races. Mm -hmm. You remember when people were making those creation maps and it was like a pinwheel that you had to find that hole in one to get through. Um, it just adds a little bit more to the precision. It takes a little bit more to complete. I mean, geez, at least it finish in the first half of the riders. Um, and then we can also talk about Canyon Storm in a bit and how big and wonderful that map is. But from what I can see so far, Warrior Races are moving in the right direction. I really like that they have chosen the arcade style because that's what's going to be fun. That's what people are going to come back for. Mm -hmm. And it seems like they're just testing this out right now. 
when the mass race comes up, like the new announcement, the Hey Riders, it'll either say like mass race starting or warrior mass race starting, which is nice because that gives you the option of, do you want the more serious mass race or are you just going to wait until hopefully a warrior race pops up? However, right now it only seems that it was the first race. The second okay. one didn't have the slowdown zones and I didn't play the third one in this footage, but I've heard that some people it's the same maps and it was just the first and third race. So you're playing the exact same map twice. My guess is they're just seeing the feedback on this and then we'll add those boxes to all of the maps because they seem like they'd be pretty easy to implement just across. There's nothing too fancy about them that when I saw them too, I thought it looked like a beta almost. It's just okay. a, a purple square. There's no yeah. you know fancy detail to it. It's just a big bright zone, but that's going right. to be easy to implement too. And that's it's genius. You know, I, I haven't even noticed that, that the warrior races and mass races pop up with different wording uh, and that it is just one map. It really sounds like they're using those pop up notifications as data collection, figuring out who clicks what, which players stay to run one or both of these warrior races. You know, are you doing one warrior race up front, a middle one that's normal and then leaving? Or are you sticking around to play that third one? How are you doing in positioning? What's your retention rate? Uh, that seems like easy slam dunk data collection for Ubisoft. And that's really smart on their part. I will say that I did the mass race at what time was it? 530, the regular mass race. And it didn't fill up completely. We hit 60 players really? and then timed out. So it took like the four and a half minutes to start the warrior mm -hmm. mass race you were watching and started at six o'clock our time. And it filled up pretty quickly like <laughs> mass races did when it started. So I think more people were joining. It also could just be the time where people are finally logging in. It's just yeah. after dinner time. But again, it's good for them to see how many people are logging in and choosing those races when they pop up. No, I mean, and these races appeal more to the younger audience. You know, this game has is honestly, I mean, we know we know plainly that they are trying to get this in front of younger eyes, 100%. Um, so, you know, adding these arcadey effects is are, are I don't even know what I'm saying. I just stumbled over my words. You kind of know which direction I'm going with that. <laughs> yeah, and I will say I like them so far. They could be a little better, yeah. but everyone knows at the very start of this game, I was addicted to mass races and mm -hmm. would log in and play only mass races and then sit in the Rider's Ridge until the next mass race. And after about a month or so, I stopped playing mass races because mm -hmm. I don't have all gold gear and so now I just consistently finish in 10th to 15th position because I can't go any faster and there's right. no chance for me to get first. Now there's that element of if I go to the left, I might avoid the purple square, but it's jam packed with people. If I go to the right, I might be able to squeak through after the purple. I just like that kind where it's a little bit more thinking than just point A, point B, point C. Exactly. It is not an outright speed and endurance race. It is you know, th there are obstacles as well. Um, and, and that's what I'm saying, the dynamics. So there, it's not the same line every single time. I'm going to glitch out. I know because I'm in the middle of the pack right here on whatever race it is. But I know that I need to take my character to the left a little bit to get around this tree. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what people have been doing for the past couple of months. And now we're throwing in a purple box where, uh oh, <laughs> that purple box is going to move. So maybe one out of every five times you're not going to be able to take that path because it's going to be in your way. Mm -hmm. So adjust. And now you're a part of the pack once more. Uh, I wanted to talk about the mass race fatigue that you were experiencing that I was experiencing as well. Like you said, the gold gear against regular gear is kind of an unbalanced, unfair advantage. Uh, but the other part of mass races and why I kind of trailed off after a while was just the, the repetitiveness of them. The same maps, every time over and over again, rinse and repeat. And with the new update, I believe it came out in the latest update two weeks or so ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Canyon Storm was introduced to the, the, the rotation of mass races. And this one completely changes the game as well. It gives you multiple paths. It, there are wider gate boxes, you know, checkpoint boxes. It kind of feels like they took all of the um, all of the input and all of the concerns and just said, here, we'll try this one. And it seems like a success. I mean, I've really enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed dri uh, driving it. Jeez, oh, man, riding it myself. Um, 
the, your thoughts on that as well. Do you? Th- it, how do you like Canyon Storm? And do you think a Canyon Storm Warrior race will be here in the near future, or like is that too much on one map like like that? How big it is? I don't think it's too much, just because if you sign up for a Warrior race, you know what you're getting into. True. Um, but I love this map design. I'm sure there's an optimal route to take, and I'm sure people like Snix and Bone Crusher and company, they have an exact line that they ride that gets them the fastest point A to point B on Canyon Storm. But I just love the look of it, and there's different paths. There's one section in my gameplay where the middle is very narrow and has a lot of tire obstacles, but it's the most direct path. If you fall off of that, there's lots of jumps going up and down, but there's a little bit less people and more room to breathe. So it just gives you different options to play with. Right. You know, and if you have a, a lesser bike, maybe you focus on those skinnier paths, those that that quicker path. You know, maybe the gold can take whatever they want. It, it just leaves so much creativity and it gives the rider more control over their gameplay. Up until this point, I feel like mass races were very, it's very narrow. You know, we're trying to go four people wide through a two people wide section. Let's just see what happens. And that was just repetitive over and over again. And to jump into Canyon Storm and right out of the gate, everyone just shoom in three different directions. You know, it, it, it takes care of that glitching problem. It takes care of so many issues that people were having with mass races while also giving you the creative ability to choose your own line and what suits you and and what you're feeling that day. You know, a a fast line might work well on the leftmost track for someone, uh, but then the other person is, is favoring the right and they're getting close to the same times. Again, we haven't seen the time breakdowns on any of these paths, but I, I just, as a creator, as you know, that that's how I enjoy playing games, kind of pick your own adventure. Uh, This is giving it to you tenfold, and I just hope that this is kind of where they are heading in the future, these more wide, broad races. Mm -hmm. I could see them further dividing that line, which was one of the recommendations where mass races will become just speed point A to point B, Mm -hmm. and maybe even putting ghosts at some point where you can't collide. That's something for future, and I'm not a hardcore racer, so I don't really have an opinion on Speak making people ghosts um, and just making warrior races the kind of mad, funky, like everything's goofy, maybe just giving everyone the same gear score, making everyone ride golds in those races. I don't know. I think one thing that I've seen brought up before and I've thought of before, and it would fit great in warrior races, is doing tricks refills your sprint bar. Yes. There has to be some system in this game some at some kind point of stamina where stamina manipulation, right? Yeah, where if you pull off tricks, you get more sprint. And if your sprint's already full, you get more sprint. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just well, get a longer bar. So am I crazy or has it been confirmed that when you land a trick, you get a slight speed boost? I don't. Just in my head? I think it's just in your head. Okay. And because that makes sense as well. Like you, you land a legendary trick, whatever, and boom, you get a tiny little burst. Mm-hmm. But I do like the the element of increasing the stamina bar instead of giving you that burst, just giving you the juice to to do what you need to. Yeah, you know? they could again, they could play with that a bunch of different ways mm-hmm. and see what works best. But it would just make mass races, I think, more fun. At least the warrior ones, where everyone's pulling off tricks and doing goofy stuff and just having fun. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned it before. I think mad races would be so much better of a name than warrior races Mm -hmm. for the the crazy, the the crazier maps. Um, Mad races seem like just mad lad, you know, (laughs) just go nuts on these wacky races, something like that. And it's a throw to Mad Max too, like Canyon Storm. Hey, yo. Um, Yeah, it this is promising. Uh, the the more that they keep updating this game, the more that they keep presenting us, the more I'm liking it. Yeah, not saying that we didn't like it at the start, but you you know where I'm coming from. I do, and they are putting goofy ideas in yes. to see if it works. Mm-hmm. And they said that too with the changes to collisions on the bikes. They had a change for collisions, but they had the old system back and ready to upload to the servers at a moment's notice. So they're coming up with cool ideas but they're also saving the old stuff and can change back if they need to. Yeah. Oh, (laughs) devs keep pushing the envelope, please. Uh, We know that you have some stuff in your back pocket that nobody knows about yet. 
Uh, just please, you know, keep pushing it. Keep going crazy. Uh, this game is on a really, really wonderful road up, you know, up in the standings or just up into great game territory. I don't know where I was going with that, but riders, the devs of Riders Republic definitely know where they are headed. <laughs> It's time to hit the Riders Roundup, uh, partially from our self-promo tab on Discord, but also just the latest and greatest content that is coming out of the Riders Republic community that we find on all sorts of social media platforms. This first video that's on screen right now really reminds me of our early GTA days, Mitch, where we were doing some machinima-esque things, uh, but did not have a director mode to you know, make our vision come true. Yeah, this I still haven't commented on the video yet on the channel, but I was going to this might be the first time I've seen this done in Riders Republic mm -hmm. to this scale. I've seen people film in third person before little edits, but this is a three minute montage of Thunder doing some crazy tricks on skis and had his buddy. It looks like record the viewpoint. So there's somewhere it's a follow a guy on skis following him somewhere. He's just standing there and following him with the looking around camera. And it's so brilliant. It just shows why we need a replay mode in this game. Absolutely. Yeah. Utilizing his friend, like you said, in their first person camera, kind of like the set point that we had in steep. But uh, yeah, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Go check this one out. It is a full three minute edit and thunder hats off to you. You are redefining the <laughs> Riders Republic content game. Yeah. We also got a video from Mr. Man putting together a mountain edit, and he is also just cruising down skis. Looks like same place. I believe this is the Tetons. It looks like it's the higher, you know, more backcountry mountains and just, you know, a really cool edit. And it's over on TikTok, which we have, by the way, now. So you can check that link down below. Shameless promo. <laughs> I love it. We also have two IRL uh, videos to showcase this week. So this first rider, you met him back in the Tardiflet Games Best Trick Finals. Ian Hawk BMX is throwing down some in real life biking tricks. And I'm going to be real. We weren't following Ian Hawk. He wasn't following us before TFG. But we posted on Instagram about him being in the finals and I tagged him on Instagram and was able to scroll through and like the dude is actually really good at biking. I am terrified for when BMX is actually a thing. Yeah, he is. It's crazy to see how real and good some of these people are at actually mm -hmm. riding and just coming up with these. And the fact that he's great on a real bike and can also win a competition in the video game is stellar. <laughs> Yeah, terrifying. Just wait for that BMX DLC. None of us are safe. And just real quick, again, shouting out our second in real life montage. This one from Yemi Vulgaris throwing. What were you saying? 180s? Yes, 180s. It says <laughs> one day, one minute ski edit, except I only know one trick and it is a 180. So he's already farther than we are. I love it so much, but I, the camera work is phenomenal. And holy crap, the backdrop. You cannot beat these shots they're they're fantastic yeah i need to move out of the east coast tell me about <laughs> you, it you see mountains like that and just your jaw drops ours is maybe a tenth of that size oh yeah yeah and nothing is better than riding with your friends which is exactly what call me jay did over on their newest video it's a montage featuring tartiflette games rider monkey d tony and medalist monkey d tony along with cosmic and awajin awajin qn qn, QN. Oh, away, Quinn. Sure. Go check that one out. It's called yeah. Toxic. Yeah, this is just in the same style as the edits that came out. He Survivor was featured last week. Mm. Um, if you remember that beautiful one, then that was dropped a week ago. This one came out. I don't know if they're doing it every single week, but if they can keep up that pace, that'll mm -hmm. be insane. Yeah, they're going to outpace us in. Oh, oh, they've already done it. Look <laughs> at that. There they go. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who is sharing their content around Riders Republic. Um, please keep posting in the self promo tab on our Discord server. And we're also going to keep our eyes on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, you know, everywhere where content can be shared. Mitch and I are scouring the Internet every week for the latest and greatest from the mountains of Riders Republic. You guys are not disappointing. Yeah. And. That'll do it for this episode too. I believe 20, episode 20. Hey, look at that. Congrats. We, we made it. 
twenty percent of the way through the first one hundred guaranteed <laughs> episodes of this show. Quick math. Yeah, I know. Special thanks goes out, of course, to our YouTube members, executive producers, Bone Crusher Two D and Coach Thirty Four. Co producers, it's the Mort and my mom and our fans and fans plus. Yeah, if you would like to become one of those members and support what we are doing over here, you saw a lot of those dollars going to work over the weekend for the Tartiflette Games in Riders Republic. Mitch had some brand new transitions, some new animations, some new vibes, some new songs, you know, just throwing out the red carpet for everyone that is watching out there. So thank you very much for all of those who contribute with some monies. Uh, if you would like to join this illustrious group of content digesters consumers uh, you can hit join down below to check out all of the perks that we offer you can also just hit subscribe and that notification bell for 100 free to stay up to date on all of the content that we put out including the x games style competitions the tartiflet games and this right here the riders report yeah, you can also check out our links to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and our Discord server down below. And that's where, of course, you can post your self-promo videos and post topic ideas for the show. That was weird. Like, okay, we have this entire outro scripted out, right? So we kind of say the same thing every week in this last minute or so. And you just added TikTok in there for the second week in a row. But this week, it was kind of flawless. And it really threw my rhythm off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and not not to say that we're like checked out for the outros, but we know what's coming in the outros. And you threw TikTok in there and it's like <laughs> a whole new world. It, I don't like it. But come check us out on TikTok, please. Instagram is our bread and butter. And just Discord, come and hang out with us after the show concludes. We will see you in the next week or so with some Tartiflette Games news, uh, primarily what the next competition is going to be. Leave your guesses down below, and we will also treat those as suggestions for future <laughs> events. Uh, literally, the slate is 100% clean right now. We need you to help us <laughs> come up with these events so that we can have a full, wonderful season, hopefully before Director's Mode even comes out so we can hit Season 2 running. Thank you so much for sticking around for the entire, the entire thing, all of Episode 20. I am completely hungry. I am so exhausted. Thank you very much. We will see you same place, same time next week. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you on the slopes. You didn't think I was going to finish, did you? I did not think you were going to make it. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it. That train was on one rail. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>